In Fast Reporter 3, there are two types of reports. Fast Reporter 3 reports and application reports. Let's take a closer look at the two. Within the Fast Reporter 3 application, whether you want to access a Fast Reporter generated report or an application report, you will click on the tap report. To generate a Fast Reporter 3 reports, you will have to click on the icon from New Template in the upper left of your screen if you haven't already created a template. Then select the report related to your test types. As you can observe, it will generate a PDF report similar to what you would generate from the test set. One advantage of performing this in Fast Reporter 3 is that it brings over all this information. Please note that the gray portion is what the test set will also do, and you cannot modify it. However, you can edit the white sections. Additionally, it allows you to edit multiple reports from your file section simultaneously. Moreover, if you had another type of report that you wanted to include in the report, it would be possible to combine both in the same report. It can be exported as Excel or PDF files. It is then useful if you have multiple files to combine on one report. Then if you chose to generate an application report, you can easily and quickly have access to it by simply clicking on the PDF icon in the upper ribbon of your screen. As you can see, these reports come directly from the test set for individual tests. So, as demonstrated, the main difference between Fast Reporter 3 reports and the application reports is that Fast Reporter 3 reports gives you the possibility to generate a wider range of general reports and can be combined with multiple test types, allowing you to generate a single PDF file for all your tracks as for instance Otter, FIP, OLTS, and Fiber Characterization reports. Then on the other hand, the application reports offer you to quickly generate unique item reports tailored for specific applications, but be aware that it will generate a PDF file for each track. Please note that application reports are exactly the same as what the various applications seen in IOLM and OTDR, as for example, are capable of generating. Exposed devices are able to generate application reports automatically as soon as a result is saved. On the other hand, a manager may need to correct something for a given measurement and may wish to remanage the same report format as on the devices, but without having to go through the device itself. So that's one of the reasons why the application report was brought to FR3.